Oh, that's not a USB port. Let's put it in the USB port. So today, like any regular Linux user, we're going to be distro hopping. So, elementary OS download. So basically, um, I've been running elementary OS in a virtual machine recently on my desktop and I think it's gotten to the point where I've gotten bored with my ThinkPad C420 and I feel like maybe putting a different, you know, Linux distribution will hype it back up or something so here we are at the elementary.io website the one for the operating system and uh, I'll go ahead and download it so we can install it on this thing and basically if you haven't heard of elementary OS uh, it started off as a custom version of Ubuntu with a theme and later on kinda evolved from there um, it tries to be pretty much like a friendly Linux distribution with a heavily inspired Mac UI so yeah let's go ahead and pay what you want we all know we're very cheap so sorry let's see download from a localized server or by magnet guide for more help eh. download save file downloads okay save boop 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 sorry Alright, so we'll let it download and then we'll put it on our USB stick that we picked up. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go through the installer. So, talk to you all then. So, yeah, my internet speed is not the fastest. We're almost there. But, I saw this the other day and I thought it was hilarious. This is how I feel when I SSH using my mobile phone. This thing got audio? It does not have audio, as far as I know. Uh -oh. But yeah, you get the point. Hilarious. Little bike. I can't even do that. And someone criticizes your choice of Debian because the packages are too out of date. Alright, wait. There's more to this. No? Can't relate. I'm tracking unstable. I use CentOS on my computer. I can get latest NVIDIA drivers, Steam, and eSync to work on it. My only concern is if the 4.18 kernel will support my Ryzen 7 processor when I get it. Yeah, I mean, 1.1 out of 1.4 gigabytes. This is entertainment, people. Entertainment. I'm talking to myself. Damn. Okay, so our download finish, we can see that the elementary OS ISO is 1.4 gigs. Um, I did try to create the bootable USB earlier, but I'm pretty sure I messed up the process. So here I am doing it again. I'm doing LSBLK. I want to... This is my USB right here. Let me go ahead and unmount it real quick. Dev SDB. Pseudo. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's unmounted now. So let me go ahead and reformat the USB. So we'll do sudo make file system dash t for type vfat and the actual device as always be really careful when doing this so there we go okay so that's been reformatted so now we can actually go ahead and put our ISO into the USB we'll do that with the DD command so let's do DD you do IF for input file and we'll do elementary okay then we'll do OF 
for output file and we want this on our USB drive and then we'll do block size equal um, what's a good one what's a good one I'll just do four megabytes so we'll let that run for a bit and once it finishes we'll plug it into the computer again and boot up from it and install our operating system so we've gone ahead and finished copying as you can see so now I'll go ahead and boot up from the USB drive and proceed with the installation hopefully all goes good Okay, so we'll go ahead and boot from our USB. We'll see if that works or not. There you go. Booting elementary OS live disk in one, two. Well, I messed that countdown up. So, <laughs> and here we go. This is taking a good bit. So it says welcome. I'll go ahead and hit and sorry. Yeah, I'll go ahead and hit install elementary. English English here. Yeah. Continue. Put my Wi-Fi info. Download updates while installing elementary. Sure. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats proprietary sign me up so continue Whoa. so we're at the disk installation type yeah we want to erase and install elementary of course we want to encrypt it and we want to use LVM so let's hit install now. I'll go ahead and fill this out. So loading, loading, loading. I have a good password. So it says if you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. The following partitions are going to be formatted. Sure. Smash that continue button. Man, this is slow. Yeah, definitely from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, we're from Chicago. So we're just finishing up the installation. So after a while we can see the installation finished so you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation sure let's go ahead and restart boom i did it's going uh oh uh oh sure let's go ahead and reboot There we go, the elementary OS splash logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrypt the drive real quick. Boom. So let me go ahead and log in real quick. Welcome to elementary OS. Continue to set up some useful features 
features, visit the links below for more information about elementary OS. You can see we have our nice Mac-based dock down there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really that neat to it, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Nightlight going. Housekeeping, old files can be automated today, da, 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 da. sure. Get some apps ready to go. Enjoy using elementary OS. You can always visit system settings to set up hardware or change preferences. Boom. It's awesome. Now all I got to do is install my software all over again. <laughs> so thank you for watching, everyone. As always, if you haven't hit thumbs up already, please go ahead and hit thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, please. Thank you for watching.